Uh, hi, this is Rick Naranjo with Paradise Energy Solutions with another edition of our Tech Tips. And today what I'd like to do is give you a brief introduction to the video you're about to watch. I was down at our Virginia branch with our install team down there. We were doing some uh, open circuit voltage, VOC, and some uh, closed circuit current, uh, or IMP testing, uh, of a PV array. We wanted to get some data from the, uh, the uh, panels. And so we were going about some various ways to do it safely when one of the guys, Jordan Gouin, uh, had the suggestion, well, you know, if we've got the DC circuit open, then could we safely remove the connector from the SMA inverter and test for VOC there rather than having to handle conductors, uh, live conductors uh, with insulated gloves um, by themselves. And so after checking that out, we gave it a test and we realized what a great idea. So we took a video just showing how that could be done safely and I hope you enjoy it uh, for this week's Tech Tips from Paradise Energy Solutions. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Rick. I'm here with Sam and uh, Jordan and Jared here down in Virginia. And we're doing a little uh, testing. We're, we're doing some training on how to uh, do uh, VOC and IMP testing. Uh, we're gonna get the, the HT and the soul, the soul metric meter out in a minute. But um, we've got this inverter opened up and just to verify, we do have the DC disconnect locked out. It's opened up, as you can see there. And we've got the AC circuit breaker in the open position. So this has been locked out and uh, you know Jared actually tested for voltage and current before we got here. But what we want to share is Jordan had a great idea because we were removing each of these conductors, putting a wire nut on them and, and testing circuit to circuit, handling a live conductor and thinking, well, and that we did it safely. But then uh, Jordan said, well, why don't we just pull this whole connector out? Now he's already loosened these two screws here, but this whole thing just pulls out like this. And we realized that, you know, we could probably just do the testing right here. And so what we're gonna do now is, uh, Jared, you've got your meter and we're going to be test just testing for DC voltage. So we know that we have 9.1, 9.2, 9.3, 9 9.1, 9.2, 9.3. So we know it's kind of from left to right. So let's, let's do uh, 9.1. 9.1. <clears throat> it's 490. Okay. Let's do 9.2. Make sure your probes touch. Yep. Okay. 489. Okay. Three. Nine dot three. Four eighty nine. Four eighty nine. So you can see, and Sam, I don't know if you can zoom in up here where this goes in, but um, you can see how this is going to go right in like that, and then once it's, once it's landed, then Jordan's going to tighten the tighten the screws up, and that makes that VOC test actually it's, it's much safer. You still want to have your gloves on, but you're really not ex removing any any DC conductors. So. Thanks for this uh, listening to this week's uh, tech tip from Virginia.